Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to talk about In the Black Widow movie, there are rumors that Tony Stark is going to be in the movie And it's going to be unused footage, like deleted scenes from Captain America Civil War Now, take keep in mind that the Black Widow movie will take place after excuse me, the events of Captain America Civil War but before Avengers Infinity War. So I want to get into the whole Black Widow movie well quick. Like me how I feel about there being a prequel movie after they killed Black Widow off in Endgame. If they decided to make a Black Widow movie, if Black Widow didn't die, I would have been excited, like setting after the events of Infinity War. Er, sorry, Endgame. I personally would have been excited. I actually would, I mean, when this was announced, I was excited. And I was excited to be a prequel. I thought it was going to be re before the events, like, of potentially set before the events of the very first Avengers. Because to be honest, I was okay with them not making a Black Widow movie when the first two Avengers movies came out. Like for the prequel. But between Age of Ultron and Infinity War, I feel like there should have been a Black Widow movie. Yeah, she was part of the original six Avengers movies, but then Marvel can say, oh my god, Black Widow was her first Marvel female-led movie. And I doubt, I mean, I have every faith at that time, the Black Widow movie would have been great. Because we've seen Black Widow, Widow in like five movies so far. The first two Avengers movies. And then we saw her in... uh but um, we also seen her in, I'm trying to remember, uh, F, uh, Iron Man 2. The two Captain America movies, like Civil War and Winter Soldier. And that's literally all the Marvel movies that we've seen Black Widow in. In between, like, prior to, like, age, like, well, I guess you can say prior to... Civil War, technically being like the, the proper Avengers sequel, as a lot of fans are saying it. So I feel like having a Black Widow movie then would have been great, and a lot of fans were wanting that, even to this day. But I shouldn't say even to this day because I feel like a lot of fans' excitement or anticipation has went down after they decided to kill off Black Widow and Endgame. Now, me, part of that excitement has been hurt by uh, her death. Like, I'm excited still, but some of that excitement went down. Because, like, if you're going to kill her off in Endgame, then why go backtracking to make her own movie? Unless if you're going to open it up for someone else to be the new Black Widow. Because Black Widow... It's not only one person. It's a program. I kind of learned this from the Adventures Assemble show. Because in that show, Natasha and Romanoff had to fight this, like, newer version of, or this all different Black Widow. But this new Black Widow that Natasha and Romanoff had to fight was working for Hydra. So that's how I know that the Black Widow isn't only listed to Natasha Romanoff, but it's more like a program, kind of like with the Winter Soldier program, as we kind of got a tease to in Captain America Civil War. Now, having Tony Stark in there, again, you can kind of, I'm going to use the same argument as I use for Black Widow, or the Natasha Romanoff one. They're going to use, they're going to kill off Tony Stark in Endgame. Why will, why would they 
kind of like bring him, like the actor back, to be in Civil War. Even though at this time, I mean, like in the Black Widow movie, which takes place like shortly after Civil War, which yes, at this time Tony Stark is still alive, but I don't really see any point of bringing of using Tony Stark. <laughs> to be honest, I mean. Yeah, it might be Julius scene, yeah, it might be a story scene, but still, regardless, I just, they killed off Tony Stark in Endgame, partially, well, partially because I can kind of see them seeing the whole Tony Stark story ending in Endgame, plus the actor, Robert Downey Jr., did not want to play Iron Man anymore, so using the later scenes, yeah, maybe a cop out to use Robert Downey Jr. in a new movie without asking the actor to come back to reprise his role as Robert as Iron Man. But still, it. I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just. I don't want Iron. As much as it would be cool to see Iron Man come back. I don't really want Iron Man to really come back into the MCU per se in terms unless if it's like a Jarvis type thing which there's a lot of rumors circling around that which I'll make another video pertaining to that but I don't know maybe I'm too, being too negative too cautious or uh Nervous or whatever the proper term is in this case, I think the proper word word is me being kind of cautious. That's the closest word I can think of that can come across to what I am trying to say. I mean, Iron Man is a great. Hero and without the uh, MCU, Iron Man would oh probably would uh, Iron Man would probably always be one of those like B-listed characters for me besides an A-list character. So, am I excited for the Black Widow movie? A part of me is, but not but not as excited as I was before. Am I excited to see Iron Man in? Black Widow. Yes or no? That's my answer. It's yes and no. So what do you guys think about Black Widow being said shortly after the events of Civil War but before Infinity War? How do you feel about Tony Stark being in uh, Black Widow? Leave a comment below and before I exit I like to make this point. A lot of fans have said that they feel like Spider-Man Homecoming was practically Iron Man 4 because a lot of fans feel like Tony Stark kind of took a lot of the spotlight in Spider-Man Homecoming. That might be true. I didn't really get that feeling. I felt like he took on more of a mentor role. Which, yeah, he took some screen time, but I didn't feel like he took as much screen time like as some fans say, claim or feels, yeah, he had, had a big role in Homecoming as Spider Man's mentor, but I don't. I still feel like they Spider Man was the main focus. That's just my thing. But anyways, let me know about how you guys feel about this whole situation, and I'll see you guys later. Oh, skeptical. That's the word I was thinking of. Skeptical. I'm skeptical about this whole situation. There you go. Anyways, uh, <laughs> sorry. But let me know what you guys think about this whole situation with Black Widow being set after Civil War and before Endgame. I mean, and before Infinity War. And how do you feel about there being a potential Iron Man cameo? In the film. Let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys later.